This is a lesson on measuring and classifying angles. Uh, and our objective today is for you, the students, to be able to classify angles as either obtuse, acute, or right. And then you're also going to be able to use uh, a protractor to measure angles. And this is a key lesson. Uh, on using a, a protractor to measure angles is one of the top skills that uh, you're going to need. We need it to draw accurate geometric figures like parallelograms, triangles, and rectangles. Uh, and so uh, this, this lesson, went, while it seems pretty simple, uh, is um, a key lesson nonetheless. All right, in order to succeed in this lesson, you're going to have to know how to line up a protractor on one of the rays of an angle. Uh, and then you'll have to remember acute, obtuse, and right angles from fourth grade, and then uh, also how to hold a measurement tool. And really, number three is you really just have to clamp down that measurement tool as you're uh, measuring or drawing with it uh, just so it doesn't slip and make weird marks. And here's our notes for lesson 10-2. And uh, it is how do I classify angles and how do I line up a protractor? All right, we're going to start, start with some vocabulary. And uh, this is, again, from fourth grade, but there's key things that I'm going to be pointing out uh, in this. Number one, uh, um, the angles are, first of all, acute, right? And acute angles are anything that's less than 90 degrees. And what we're doing is we're measuring the inside of this angle, right, not the outside. And you can see that the angle is made from two rays that come off the same point. Right, and that point where the two rays are coming out of is called the vertex. And that's key because we're going to be lining up part of our protractor with the vertex and the other part of the protractor with one of the rays. Uh, and that's going to be a necessary skill in a moment. All right, next angle we're going to review is obtuse. And an obtuse angle is anything greater than 90 degrees. And again, we're measuring the inside part of the angle. Uh, and that has to be greater than 90. And the place where the two rays come out of it is called the vertex. Next is a right angle. And in a right angle, you'll see this little square um, inside the angle. And that tells you that that is a perfect right angle. So if you see that, we're dealing with a right angle. And a right angle is exactly 90 degrees. Uh, and then the vertex is, again, right where the two rays come out of. And then the last one is called a straight angle. And a straight angle is a straight line, but um, what it is is, is exactly a 100, 180 degree angle. And we're measuring from here to there. Right? And then the vertex is the one that's right in the middle, but it goes out straight in one direction, straight in the other. And that's why it's called a straight angle. All right, here's our first guided practice, and it is classifying angles. Um, and so let's just take a look. Number one, what kind of angle is that? Is that an acute angle, less than 90 degrees, obtuse angle, more than 90 degrees, or a right angle, which is exactly 90 degrees? And if you would like, you can hold up a piece of paper to the screen right now. And I'm going to grab a piece of paper here that has four 90 degree corners. And it's going to line it up on one of the corners right on the vertex there. All right, so 90 degrees would be like that. And this one's definitely less than 90 degrees. And so we're going to name that angle acute. All right, let's take a look at number two our paper again. Well, I'll put the corner right in the vertex and it looks like it's forming an exactly 90 degree angle. And so if that's the case, then we have a right angle. All right, number three. Taking a look at number three again with our square corner there. Put it right on the vertex. And now our angle is forming something that is uh, more than 90 degrees. Okay, less than 90 degrees would be not all the way up to 90 degrees. So this one actually goes past. Again, we're measuring from one of the rays to the other and see how it passes the 90 degrees. And so that would be called obtuse. 
and then the last one's pretty close to 90 degrees so let's just put our square corner up to the vertex and see if we're measuring from one ray to the other it doesn't quite reach all the way up to the 90 degree line so this one uh, is also an acute angle now, a lot of people will be able to look at those and say uh, you know I don't need to measure with a corner of a paper I can see that's an acute angle it's shorter than 90 degrees some people might need to practice a little bit with the um, you know the, the corners of a piece of paper or a card or uh, something and uh, you know it might take you a while to recognize them but after a while you should be able to look at an angle and know immediately is that an acute angle obtuse angle or a right angle all right now we're on to the meat of the uh, program here and here's our protractor and, and we uh, looked at a protractor today in class but uh, we're going to kind of review what we're we've been talking about and one of the things that we've been talking about is um, using a protractor to uh, measure things right and so there's a lot of numbers on there and numbers are used to measure uh, and the confusing thing about a protractor is that the same line as two numbers like this 60 degree line here is also a 120 degree line this 70 degree line is also a 110 degree line that 71 degree our 69 degree line is also a 111 degree line and so each one of these lines on the outside has two different measures to it and that gets confusing uh, it shouldn't be confusing though if you number one line up your zero line with the ray so where is the zero line on uh, this it's the line that extends along the bottom is your zero line not the bottom of the protractor the line that extends along the bottom and it goes right through zero over here all right so when we have a ray I'm gonna get a ray here <coughs> I'm gonna make one oh let's make a ray on there all right we have to line up that ray with the bottom of the protractor all right so we move our protractor until it lines up exactly with zero and then the vertex which is the end of a ray goes right in the middle right, that's number two key item number two so where is that vertex it's right here and right, that that forms the vertex there's usually a little hole in the protractor but there's some lines that uh, cross where that hole would be and you try to put the dot right in that um, where the you know the two lines would meet uh, if there's a hole there if there's no hole there and you have two lines then just put the dot or the vertex of the angle right in there that's that's the key right there and then we measure from the zero line All right, so we find the zero line and we measure up from there so uh, here is the zero line and so if we count up one space that's one degree and then two spaces is two degrees and three and four and five and notice how the five is a little bit longer uh, and then six seven eight nine ten and then the ten is even longer than the five is uh, and so we can get used to counting by either tens or by fives you don't want to count by ones all the way over here to let's say 130 it's just going to take you too long usually what you do is you just count from zero to ten to 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 to 60 and so on and uh, we just ignore these numbers all right these numbers are for when the line or the ray is measured from the other zero all right so if it's on this zero then we use these numbers 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 is going to be the same for both and then 100 and so on but uh, we set this one up for this zero so we're going to measure with these numbers all right so always measure from the zero line and then if you have another ray coming off that same vertex and it's going through that there we're going to measure it at 10 20 30 40 it's at the 50 degree line or 50 degree marking here and then anything in between those you know fives and tens you're going to have to count so if it's a little bit past 50 let's say it's at Oop, I'm moving the whole thing now I don't want to move the whole thing I just want to move this say it's at the next uh, 
one over so it's 50 and then whoop, 50 then 51 and then 52 so that would be a 52 degree line and again measuring from the zero all right here's our guided practice we're going to be measuring these angles first of all you have to ask yourself is it an acute or an obtuse angle so take a look at number five all right that's an obtuse angle and so i know the measurement's going to be over 90 degrees and when i get my protractor i'm going to move my protractor to where the vertex is right in the middle and then one of the rays is aligned to the zero line so either this ray or that ray is going to be lined up with the bottom part or not the bottom edge with the bottom line on my protractor uh, and so I'll just pick one that I'm used to, which is this. All right, now I have my vertex in the middle, protractor aligned with the zero, uh, and then I'll measure from the zero. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. That's at 130 degrees. And so I label that by See if I can write right over this, I can't. Okay, so it's 130, and then the little circle up at the top there means degrees, so that's 130 degrees. Let's take this protractor and line it up with number six now. First of all, asking a question, is it acute or obtuse? This one is a little shorter than the square corner, so this one should be uh, an acute angle. So I know my answer is going to be something less than 90, so I'm not gonna pick you know something in the hundreds because that's not the right angle for that all right moving over my uh, protractor to where the vertex is at the center down there okay and then aligning uh, my protractor to one of the rays okay and then the other thing you have to understand is if the other ray is not going through the protractor it's going out of the protractor then uh, you got to keep spinning the protractor to align with the other ray okay so now it's at zero vertex in the middle and now i'm counting up from zero and i go 10 20 30 40 50 and that's at 60 degrees and so it's an acute angle and i got a number that's less than 90 all right and so it takes a lot of practice measuring with the protractor but the key is again lining up one of the rays with the zero putting the vertex in that center spot at the bottom of your um, protractor and then measuring from the zero up to where the line is, not from the 180 to 170 and so on. All right, that's gonna be key. All right, now we're gonna get some practice drawing angles. And uh, drawing angles re requires you to do a couple of things. Number one, you have to draw a straight line and what you can use is your protractor to draw a straight line um, you know I'm just gonna get a ruler out and I'm gonna draw a straight line and that's gonna be my ray that I'm going to measure from so I'll draw a nice long line there and at the end of my long line I'm gonna need an arrow and then this will be my vertex right here and um, I'm going to measure the other ray from there, and so now I need a protractor. <clears throat> I'm going to make this protractor. Let's see if I can make it smaller. Nope, can't make it smaller. All right, so now I need to, uh, I wonder if I can even see 150 now. No, I can't. How do I make this thing smaller? Oh, here we go. All right, again, putting your protractor right at the vertex and the line that you drew right along the zero, uh, measuring up from the zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, all the way to 150, and then going to the outside part of the protractor and making a, a line that would extend the 150 like that. All right, so I see that, so I don't want to make a big dot, or I don't want to make a sideways line. I want to draw a line that would be uh, in line with the measure that I want, which is 150. And then you're going to line up your 
straight edge with that. and connect the, the dots here. So this line connects with that line. Mine's slightly off, but at the end, and then you should label it in the middle of the um, angle, 150 degrees. All right, moving on, now we're gonna draw a 35 degree line. So I'm gonna move this guy out of the way. <coughs> get you back here okay and again starting with a straight line doesn't matter how long it is arrow at the end of it vertex at the other end and now I need to measure up to 35 degrees and make a, another line so I'm going to put my uh, middle of my protractor on the vertex other line lined up with the zero now I'm going to measure up to 35, and 35 is in between 30 and 40 out there, so I'm going to count 10, 20, 30, and then go out to the outside out here that's still at the 30 degree line, even though it says 150 there, it's 30 for the uh, angle we're going to draw, and then you go up to 35 right there, and again make a little line that would connect the 35, uh, and then at that point you're able to connect the lines that I'm going to connect it with. A little faster here okay and labeling it 35 all right for now on I'm going to be using just the protractor all right to make a 90 degree line you first start with drawing a straight line with an arrow on it then using the protractor putting that line on the vertex or putting the vertex in the hole there and then lining up with the zero and then making a line that connects the 90 like that all right and then drawing another straight line off the vertex going right through that line that you just drew move my line over just a tiny bit all right there we go and then in here labeling it as a 90 degree angle all right last angle now i'm going to draw a 45 degree angle and again with your ruler or straight edge make a ray and we're going to take our protractor line it up correctly so that's at the vertex on one side or the beginning of the ray and then the ray extends out of the protractor at the zero degree line now we're going to take our pencil measure up to 45 degrees from 0 to 10 20 30 40 and then going out to the edge here and finding 40 and then 41 42 43 44 and then 45 is that remember that bigger slightly bigger line and then drawing a little connector there moving your protractor out of the way getting your straight edge lining it up and drawing a, a line right through that or another ray right through that and then labeling 45 degrees all right, it takes some practice, but you know once you get into it, it uh, becomes much, much easier. All right, our job today is H10-2. We're working out of the homework book, and we're going to be doing problems 1 through 10. On numbers 1 through 6, we're not going to measure those. The, uh, the lines are too short, so uh, we're only going to classify them. So just take a look at them. You can use a corner of your paper and just name them up to acute or a right angle and then we'll get more practice measuring uh, with a worksheet with bigger angles on it all right good luck